Now we are discussing the filtration process in kidney. Filtration process in kidney involves reabsorption process. It involves secretion and it involves excretion. Right? These are three things that happens in our kidney. Re reabsorption means the back into the fluid. Back into circulation. Back into circulation from the renal tubular system. The products that are in, are in the kidney are reabsorbed back into circulation as they are wanted by our body or they are needed by the body. What secretion means? The products from the circulation back into the tubular fluid. Back into kidney. Right? From circulation to kidney right and reabsorption is from kidney back into circulation right while well, excretion is a tubular fluid that ends up at urine it ends up as as urine right functional process filtration process of kidney involves reabsorption secretion and excretion reabsorption is the fluid from the kidney into the circulation and secretion is from circulation into the kidney and while excretion is that excreted from our body in the form of urine right now we have different segments this is uh, the picture of nephron i have drawn uh, nephron or kidney means this is the afferent arterioles that is bringing the blood to the art uh, kidney and this is efferent arterioles this is the uh, glomeruli this is the Bowman's capsule, this is the proximal conduit tubule, this is the descending loop of Henle, this is the ascending loop of Henle. This is loop of Henle, right? And this is the collecting duct. This is the medulla, medulla, right? This is all the structure of kidney. I'll tell now I'll tell you the products that are absorbed from the specific sites right first of all we will discuss the proximal convoluted tubule first of all I'm going to discuss with you guys this proximal convoluted tubule it led to the reabsorption means the from kidney to the circulation from kidney to the circulation this is the reabsorption in proximal convoluted tubule there is a reabsorption of water there is a reabsorption of sodium there is a reabsorption of potassium, there is a reabsorption of chloride, and there is a reabsorption of bicarbonate. Right? It means everything is reabsorbed from the proximal convoluted tubule. There is a reabsorption of glucose also. And there is a reabsorption of proteins also. Just remember that everything is reabsorbed from proximal convoluted tubule. Right? Just one thing that is secreted means that is from circulation goes into the proximal convoluted tubule is hydrogen ion and ammonia. Two things are that are secreted like from circulation back into the renal proximal tubule is hydrogen and ammonia. Right? Then we are going to see the descending loop of Henle. This is the descending loop of Henle that is coming down. Only, only water is reabsorbed. Right? only water is reabsorbed why because it is impermeable to hydrogen or uh, so, uh, sodium it is impermeable to sodium it is very easy to remember now first of all we have proximal convoluted tubule everything is reabsorbed from proximal convoluted tubule except hydrogen ion and ammonia are secreted right these hydrogen and ammonia ions are secreted and then we have the descending limb of um, uh, loop of Henle here water is uh, reabsorbed right it I mean here excreted not excreted but it is reabsorbed only water is reabsorbed like this from circulation into the kidney and why because it is impermeable to sodium nothing else is reabsorbed only water is reabsorbed and nothing is secreted from descending limb right then comes the ascending limb 
this is the ascending limbs just remember the descending limbs they are broad while ascending limb it is very thin right in ascending limb the things that are reabsorbed are sodium sorry 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 sorry, sorry. reabsorbed is this sign that is from This is also not the sign. This is this. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm feel confused. Sodium is reabsorbed from mineral tubules back into the circulation. Sodium, potassium, and chloride. Sodium, potassium, and chloride. These three things are reabsorbed in the descending limb of loop of Henle. Ascending, sorry. This is the ascending, right? In the descending, we have only water is reabsorbed because it is impermeable to sodium. In ascending, we have sodium, potassium and chloride are reabsorbed from this side, right? And because it is nothing is secreted here and it is also impermeable to water. This one is, this limb is impermeable to water, right? Loop of Henle on ascending, uh, descending side it is impermeable to sodium and on ascending side it is impermeable to water. What What is uh, impermeable here is extruded here and what is impermeable here is uh, reabsorbed here. Just remember this thing. Okay, it's very easy to remember. Then comes the distal convoluted tubule. Distal convoluted tubule. Here we have same sodium, chloride and calcium. They all are reabsorbed. Sodium, chloride and calcium are reabsorbed. This is regulated by parathyroid hormone. This is a very important thing. Okay, this is regular parathyroid hormone. That's why calcium is reabsorbed. As if there is deficiency of calcium, it just and also there is a conversion of vitamin D here in the kidney. Then comes the collecting duct. Here, the thing which is reabsorbed is water. Water is reabsorbed, and sodium is reabsorbed. It is regulated by aldosterone hormone secreted by the adrenal gland and it is regulated by antidiuretic hormone that is secreted by the posterior pituitary gland right this thing which is excreted what is excreted here potassium and hydrogen and ammonia and the drugs they all are secreted here I have been explain you guys in detail I hope you guys know let me repeat this for you if you guys want just remember everything everything is ex uh, reabsorbed here from the kidney to the circulation right it involves protein glucose bicarbonate sodium potassium chloride and water only things that are secreted here from the circulation into the tubules are hydrogen ion and the ammonia right now comes the descending limb Remember, the thing to which it is impermeable, the same thing is reabsorbed in the ascending limb. And the thing, ascending limb is impermeable, the same thing is reabsorbed in the descending limb. Right? Water here is reabsorbed and it is impermeable to sodium. Sodium, chloride, and potassium are reabsorbed here. It is impermeable to water. Then we have distal cord convoluted tubule. It is regulated by parathyroid hormone. So calcium should be reabsorbed here. Sodium and chloride is also reabsorbed. Now we have collagen duct here. It is water is reabsorbed. It is controlled by endoeuretic hormone that is secreted by the posterior pituitary. Then we have sodium is reabsorbed. It is under the control endosterone hormone that is controlled by the adrenal, uh, that is secreted by the adrenal medulla, uh, adrenal gland. It controls the sodium potassium uh, concentration of body and the things that are excreted here is potassium hydrogen sodium and uh, ammonia and the drugs this is all for the filtration function of kidney